This is question three from a series of videos taking a look at the LXL practice papers. Here we're told that each length of the side of square B is twice the length of the side of square A. Then we're told that John says that this means the area of square B is twice the area of square A. And we're asked, is John right? Now, because we haven't been given any lengths here, we are going to, I'm going to think about this algebraically. So I'm going to draw a little diagram for uh, square A and a diagram for square B. So this is square A and I'm just going to call the lengths on my square A X. Okay, I don't know what the lengths are, but I do know that on square B that the lengths on square B are twice the length of uh, the sides on square A. So if the lengths on square A are x, on square B, we can say that they are 2x. Now if I then work out what the area for square A is, I could do say that the area would be x multiplied by x, which would give me x squared. The area for square B is going to be 2x multiplied by 2x. So that's going to give me 4x squared. So if we look at our two expressions here for the area of A and the area of B, is the area of B twice the area of A? And our answer to that quite clearly is no. So when John says that this means the area of square B is twice the area of square A, we're going to say, is John right? No. And we're going to say that the area of B is four times, because it's four lots of x squared. So it's four times the area of A. Now when answering this question, I've chosen to solve it algebraically, but you could have if you wanted to. You could have just chosen uh, some values and used those instead. So you could have said, for example, that if you said perhaps x was 3 and chosen those values and then said on square b that they're twice the length 6 and say 6, then what you could have said was that the area for square a was 9, the area for square b would be 36, and then said exactly the same thing. You don't have to use these algebraic expressions. I just think it's a nice, easy way to show that. Uh, so final answer, having shown some work in, our answer would be no, the area of B is four times the area of A.